October is Domestic Violence Awareness and Prevention Month, and joining us to talk about some of the events that are happening this month is the president and CEO for Interval House, Mary Jane Foster. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And now for people who aren't familiar with Interval House, tell us sure. a little bit about it. Interval House is 40 years old. Um, we are celebrating 40 years of service to the community. We are the largest domestic violence agency in the state uh, by virtue of the fact that we serve the 23 towns that surround Hartford. We have the um, largest caseload in the courts um, in Hartford, and then Manchester has the third uh, highest number of cases. So it's a, a dynamic situation every day, and uh, we serve probably around 15, 16,000 women and children every year. And anybody that's in need of a service from the Interville House knows that they can find the strictest confidence. Absolutely. Everything is strictly confidential, in addition to which all of our services are free. How does Interville House stay funded? <laughs> oh, thank you for asking. Uh, we are we're going to find out. We have, like other agencies, um, we have a, quite a bit of state and federal funding. And without a state budget, that, that puts us all in sort of perilous times. Uh, but we also are funded through the United Way. We're funded through private foundations and then individuals. And you have uh, two, two dates uh, specific that are coming up. On the 17th, we have a Purple yes. Tie Tuesday. A Purple Tie Tuesday. <laughs> you can purchase a purple tie made by Vineyard Vines just for Domestic Violence Awareness Month and wear your purple tie. Uh, on the 17th, and that's a, always fun. And then the next day, there's the Breakfast of Champions. And yes. Tell us about that. That's a, a very special breakfast. It was started by our men's group, which was founded by Senator Blumenthal. Uh, men make a difference against domestic violence, and every year we honor someone or some organization that has made an outstanding contribution to ending domestic violence. How do the advocates across the state can stay connected to ending domestic violence? Well, there is a coalition, a statewide coalition called the Connecticut Coalition Against Domestic Violence. We have 18 agencies across the state. Um, we served last year collectively about 40,000 women and a few men. Um, and so we get together on a monthly basis and we talk about policy and legislation and best practices and um, we try to stay very close in communication. One of the ways we stay in communication is when our shelters fill up, we reach out to the other shelters in the state um, to see where we might find a safe refuge for a woman who's fleeing a violent situation. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing the information. Thank you. And we look forward to the Purple Tie Tuesday, and people can get those uh, through. Uh, yes, the CCADV.org uh, website. Fantastic. Thank you.